Got another selling on Amazon video for you guys here in relationship to the Zebra Thermo Printers. I'm going to show you how to use the thermal printer to print your packing slip uh, right after you print your shipping label. You can print your packing slip right after that, throw that in the box. Both are together, you know exactly what goes in each package. Um, this not, might not be for everyone. Some people like to use paper and laser printers and all that. Not me. I like simple and easy. So we're going to go uh, click packing slip here. That brings up the Chrome print dialog. Uh, we don't want that. Uh, Chrome likes to take over everything. We're just going to click uh, cancel there and close that out. Now we just have the main print window. And from here what we're going to do is highlight everything down from order ID down to order total. That's about all you can fit on the 4x6 paper. Um, anything more than that, it's going to bleed off into multiple pages, which is perfectly fine, but I like to have everything on one page, and that's everything you need right there anyways. So once you have that selected, we're going to uh, bring up the system print dialog. And to do that, we're going to hold down Control, Control, Shift, P. That brings up the system print dialog. And from there, we're going to select our printer driver. We're going to select, uh, I like to use the uh, Seagull print drivers. Uh, you could just as easily select your Z, Z designer drivers there. You're going to select that. You're going to select preferences. You're going to go over to page setup. Select your 4x6 paper. And click OK. And you're going to hit selection there and then print. You have to hit that print selection thing because it'll only print what's selected on the screen there. And then uh, here we go. Here's our nice one page packing slip. That's exactly what I want. I'm just going to throw that in the package and I fulfill Amazon's requirement to include a packing slip. So there you go. If you found that helpful, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned for more great videos.